Hello and welcome to another video with Agates Explained by Josh and you are watching the Agate Bay channel and today I'm going to explain you one specific type of agate and I have been asked this very often on previous videos in the comments and also from other people in messages to explain some of the differences between the different types of agates in the formation process. So we have mainly three different agate types that can be formed. Um, so this is the first section of a trilogy of where I'm explaining just a little bit about the different types of agates and today I'm talking about volcanic host rock agates and at a later time I will also show you some different examples of uh, sedimentary formed agates and thunderic agates. I just randomly picked some pieces from my showcase because almost every agate is formed in a volcanic host rock so I had it really easy that I could just pick out some pieces because the chance that I pick a volcanic agate is very very high. I would say probably around 95% of all agates worldwide are formed in a volcanic host rock. The most well-known agates are probably the Brazilian agates. Pretty much everybody who knows about an agate will probably think about a Brazilian agate and these, these agate nodules, how we call them, typically have a usually relatively round, a little bit rough, yet still kind of evenly shaped surface on the backside and inside they can have pretty much any color. The color is mostly de determined on where the agate is found. This is a premium quality Brazilian agate because it has just incredible symmetry, beautiful color distribution, distribution, great contrast and I just love it. Then we have an agate from Australia. Here you can also see this kind of rough looking shape. So compare, compared to a sedimentary agate, um, most volcanic agates are in a little bit rougher shape than the sedimentary agates. Sedimentary agates are usually very smooth but have like a kind of sandy, sandy I would almost say, rough backside because they're, they're either found in some, some kind of limestone or sandstone and um, yeah, they usually have some of the host rock attached. Here's an agate from Australia, also a piece I just love. That's the reason why it has been in my showcase. Just gorgeous combination of the yellow, red, white water level banding and just like these separations. Just gorgeous looking piece. But this is another, another example for a volcanic formed agate. And the volcanic agates, you can imagine, I think I've explained it in a previous video as well. They formed from a volcano, it shot out some lava and magma and inside of the um, slowly moving magma there were some gas bubbles trapped inside and when the magma became stone the gas bubbles were still trapped inside and over a long process um, with uh, hydrothermal activity which means like in, in uh, water flows um, the transportation of the silica has been moved into these uh, geodes or empty hollowed gas bubbles and later crystallized um, on a microcrystalline base to form these agates. So agates are actually crystalline structures, but they're made, made out of tiny, tiny spherical um, patterns that in, in total make this entire um, crystallized agate banding. So we're talking about microcrystalline or macro uh, crystalline structures um, that are forming the agate, but they're all found in some sort of volcanic host rock, like I said, with these bubbles inside. Here we have one of the agates from Laguna location in Mexico, which is one of the most famous and well-known agate locations worldwide next to the Brazilian agate, but this probably has a higher market uh, value to their name as well. They, they're known as being some of the finest banded, most colorful agates in the entire world. And this agate actually came from the gem shop. Uh, shout out at, at this time, they're one of the biggest retailers for good quality agates in the United States based in Cedarburg, Wisconsin and I purchased this beautiful agate from them about a year ago and I'm very happy with it. Another Mexican agate that I want to show you is this Moctezuma agate. I've shown it in some videos as well. Here you can see it has been exposed to the first surface for a long time and you can easily see that because of this kind of weathered white looking appearance on their husk. Also a volcanic formed host rock just with uh, some other details and the Moctezuma agates are well known for the pastel colors. Here I have a Moroccan agate. A lot of the Moroccan agates 
for some reason in the magma they shaped like they have been a little like flat flat surface at the bottom and then stacked up like a like a head you could almost say and so this is probably like the the top of the shape of the nodule probably a lot smaller than that but my hands can't form it so um a moroccan agate also with just incredible colors wow incredible incredible yellow yellow color saturation uh, swimming in this deep blue chalcedony surrounded by a little bit of orange and with these red surrounded tubes going on in the rim area beautiful agate and i think some of the most underrated agates on the market in terms of their beauty but that is also caused because there's a lot of good quality moroccan agates on the market right now um, who knows it might change at some time in the future Another volcanic agate formed is in Mozambique. It's also one of the largest agate locations in the entire world after the Brazilian agates. At this location in Mozambique, probably around one, over a thousand tons of rough agates have been found. Most of them broken because of natural fractures, exposed to the surface, falling apart. So most of this material is actually tumbling material or will be worked into bracelets, for example, making um, spheres out of them. But there's some great, great, great looking specimens as well. This being one of the very, very rare cases where you have amethyst. And other than that, it has very classical features for Mozambique with this kind of pinkish looking color and the water level stacked at the bottom. I think water level is one of the most precise indications for Mozambique agates in combination with usually a more blue or red type so this kind of pinkish pastel color type is actually pretty rare but great looking piece from mozambique oh ha, I, I just i just discovered i picked another mozambique agate and i uh, i didn't realize that i actually had two from mozambique and these are the more common colors you will find in mozambique agate more translucency a little bit of red and blue with a little bit of water level banding but this made it in my showcase because it has this kind of snowflakey looking natural fracture on the left hand side with a rainbow reflection and that's a first time for me i've never seen that before so this one made it in my showcase as well but both of these are volcanic formed then another really cool piece and that's the last one of the volcanic agates for tonight is this patagonian agate which originally also was found in a in a gas bubble but then at a later time the entire host rock has dissolved leaving the agate nodules out on the ground after the host rock has been washed away, away leaving these agates on the on the surface they have been grinded by desert wind and just smoothened out these perfectly beautiful backsides of these patagonian agates and i think the patagonian agates that have been found on the surface being exposed to this kind of weathering are maybe the coolest backsides of agates that I know of and I think it's such a cool feature but this agate just holds a punch inside it. Incredible pink color with bright blue, yellow, beautiful symmetry. I really 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 like this agate and I actually got it in trade with a very very nice collector. So I'm very happy with this one and that's all of the volcanic host rock agates I have for you today but uh, there is so, so, so many more locations which form these volcanic rocks and there just has to be any sort of vol volcanic activity in the past and at a later time in these uh, trapped gas bubbles is where the agate could fill inside. And yeah, make sure to like the video if, if you enjoyed watching it, subscribe to the channel and check out the future videos to wait for the sedimentary edition and the thunderick edition as well to see what I have to tell you about those. See you in the next video. Goodbye.